Hi, I'm Jill Fitzhenry, and this is... I am Austin Fitzhenry. This is my grandson. And Austin, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old, okay. And you're my painting buddy, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, we like to do a lot of arts and craft projects together. So today, what are we going to show everybody how to do today? We are going to show everybody how to do a snowman <gasps> on a mitten ornament and so this is a perfect thing that you can do for a gift for anybody special in your life and so when we do our snowflake we're going to be using some really fun brushes uh, or our snowman uh, we're going to use some fun brushes by dynasty and they're in the black silver so first of all austin do you remember what we use the deerfoot stippler on we use the stipple, Deerfoot Stippler to, we used it on the snowman's head. Yes, we did. And? The hat. And the hat. Okay. Another special brush that we're going to be showing uh, today is the Wave Angle. Do you remember where we used that? We used that on the hat stripes. Right. We used it on the snowflake, and we also used it on the icicles. Perfect. Okay, and how about the little round brush? Where did we use that? We used that on the mouth. We used that on the heart. And we also... Actually, that's all I can remember. That. Oh, it's okay, and we used it to do the carrot nose. True. Yeah, there we go. And another special brush that we used is called a dagger brush. And what did we do with that? We scooped up glitter. We put little bits of glitter on the snowman, and then on the snowman, and then on. Then we used big glitter on the icicles. That's right, that's right. So, let's show you how we're going to get started today. Okay, Austin, let's get started on our project. So, to start with, we're going to use the Deco Wart Americana in the Lamp Black to base coat our little wooden mitten. And um, I got this one from cdwood.com. Uh, it's a nice size, a um, little cut out. So let's squeeze some out on a little plate here or palette. And we're going to start with our black silver uh, flat brush here. So Austin, here's what I want you to do. I'm, I want you to really fill that brush up with paint. So I'm kind of patting it on the plate here so that I'm getting paint inside the brush not just dabbing on the outside. So you go ahead, try that. Go ahead, fill the brush up with lots of paint and just kind of pat it on the plate. Squish it into the brush, that's it. Okay, go for it. Now nice, great, big, long strokes. And actually, when you start, you can actually go all different directions with your brush and flip it over. You got more paint on the other side. So... We're going to base coat the entire mitten with black. Now, once we get all the paint on, go ahead, pick up more anytime you need more. There you go. And just go for it. So, once we get the paint on the whole surface, then we're going to pull a nice, great big long stroke to smooth out any brush marks that we might have gotten. So I'm going to let you just go for it and finish base coating the mitten. Okay, good job, Austin. Now that you've got all the area covered. This is what I do. I come back one more time. I go all the way from the very top to the very bottom and that way any little ridges that I might have gotten from the brush strokes I'll get all those out of there. So let's have you try that on the other half. So I got half of it done. I'll load the brush for you. Okay now pull all the way from the very top to the very bottom 
and everything gets smoothed out. And don't stop in the middle. Nope, all the way from one end to the other. And that's it. And all the way to the outside. Yep. Good job. That way you don't have any brush marks. So all the way top to bottom. And that looks good. Good to me. Okay, so we're going to put this brush in water. Uh, normally I would go ahead and right away uh, rinse it in my sink and get it nice and clean, but I'll just set it in a little cup of water in the meantime. Now, we have one that is already dry that Austin base coated originally, and uh, so we can let this one sit off to the side and dry for us, and we can still use that one later. And let's put it over here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start our little design. And I am going to go ahead and give you a little, I just have a little chalk pencil. So what I do is to get the snowman started that we're going to paint on, I'm going to just draw like a little circle at the bottom. And let's maybe zoom in a little closer so that you can see better. So I draw a little circle, then I'm going to do another section up here that's going to be the hat, and the very top of the hat is going to be up there. And that's all we need as far as a pattern to get us started. What do you think, Austin? Easy? Good. Easy peasy. All right, then I have um, some white paint in a little little plastic here. So uh, using pretty basic colors. Now this is the Dynasty Black Silver Deerfoot brush and we're going to use this to stipple on the snow for the snowman's head. So Austin, let me show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to dip it in the white paint. Okay, so I've got it on the tip and then I'm going to get the extra off, really squish it really hard on the plate here. Okay, now when I go to do it on this piece, I'll hold it straight up and look it, I make snow. How about that? Good. Can you do that? Okay, let's have you start from the very beginning. So dip it in the white paint. Okay, get all the extra off on the plate and really squish it hard. Okay, really squish it. And I want you to squish the bristles out this time. So this time, really squish and spread them out. It's kind of like you're wrecking the brush, but you, that's what's going to make it look fluffier. Okay, so let's try that now. All set to go. And don't push very hard, just barely touch. That's it. And you're going to fill in the whole thing. Yeah, you got it. Nice. See how nice and fluffy that makes the the snow. So go ahead, fill in the entire head. Good job. Nice, nice. And you can sure turn the, the wood piece a little bit to make it easier for you to work, honey. So if it feels awkward, you can sure turn it any time. Okay, real gentle tap, so not so hard because you want to make sure it stays fluffy looking. Okay, now if you need a little bit more paint instead of going in there, we're just going to pick the extra up from our palette here, from our little plate. And I just want you to get, a, I'm going to turn it so that you can maybe get at it. I want you to get a little bit more on this outside edge here, just gentle like that, okay? So go for it. That's it. Gentle touch. Don't. Okay, I'm not in the hat yet. A little bit all over the in the in the snowman's head again. Do some more in the center. Gentle touch. That's it. And so we're not trying to get rid of all the black. We want to see a little bit peeking through here and there. And I'm just going to get a couple more little little touches there. And we got it. What do you think? Okay? Good. Good. Good job. All right, so we want to have a little bit of a shadow on the outside of the head here. So we're not going to clean the brush. We're going to leave this white in there. I'll just kind of get some of the extra off the side. So squish that brush again. 
Okay, this time I'm going to get just, I don't want to dip into the big pile of black. I want to get just a little bit of black on, on that brush. Okay, test it, get most of that off because we really want more gray. So white plus black makes the gray. Okay, now this time I want you to just just tap on gently on the outside edge under the hat and just that outside edge. Kind of like the letter C, if you can imagine the letter C. Okay, that's good. And then under the hat a little bit. And I think that's all we need. Good job. Okay, so now we're going to rinse this brush um, in some water. Let me get some water showing here. Okay, so we're going to, so what I do is I really tap that brush on the bottom of the, the cup there to get the extra out. Okay, and then I'm going to let you go ahead and squeeze it between the paper towel. Go ahead and get all the extra paint and water out of there. You can show it on the camera. So go right up in the camera there. That's good. Good job, sweetie. Yep, good job. Okay, because we just want that clean for our next color. Now, what color did we decide we were going to do the hat? Blue, right? So, what do you think about this blue? Good. You like it? Okay. Let me get that open. Okay, so we're going to squeeze some of that into our palette. This happens to be crisp blue, but just pick out your favorite colors. So that's another Americana, okay. crisp blue. You just pick out your favorite colors. So now I'm going to have you do, um, I'm going to have you see if you can load this brush like we did for the white. See if you remember. And just find a spot, get all the extra off and squish it. That's it. All right, so this time just gently fill in the hat, both the top and the bottom. That's it. This gives you really nice texture, like it's a nice fuzzy winter hat. Good job. And you can feel the whole thing in. And it can be a little more solid than what we did for. Um, and just take your time, go a little slower now. When you're trying to get close to another object, slow it down. That's it. Get across the top of the snowman's head. That's it. Okay. So I'm going to turn this just a little bit. I want just a little bit more on the outside edge there and just a little bit more on the top of his head. Okay? All right. Now, just like we did the first time, we're not going to clean the brush. And this time we're going to just pick up a little bit of white. Uh, white or we could use, oh, you know what, should we try another color? Here, you hold the brush a minute. I got an idea. Let's try. What about if we use Green Lagoon for the highlight color on the edge of the, yeah. the hat? That would be cool, right? I like mm -hmm. that color. So let's put some of that out. All right, so just a, um, and this time we just want a tiny little bit on just on the outside end of the brush. Okay, now I want you to tap that on the plate. Just gentle, just slow and nope. Let's get all the tips. Oh, and this is this is important. Okay, so see the bottom tips of all the brushes? That's what you tap on the plate. Okay. Okay, got that? Okay. All right, now you're gonna go and you're gonna tap that just on that outside edge of your hat. So all those tips touch. That's it. Okay. And how about if we pull some in just a little bit more there and a little bit more there. What do you think? Do you like that? Good. Good? All right. I'm thinking maybe just a little bit more color yet. I'm not sure how good that shows up on the camera. Let's do it one more time in that same area. You want to do it one more time, just gentle. Same area that you did. Okay, now we want to keep a nice bump here. So you've got to make sure that this stays round. 
and this stays round. So they're two separate areas. And then let's pull a little bit more back in. I'm gonna have you do a little bit more back inside, away from the edge now, okay? Nope, not way back there. Right in the front here, like right about there. Okay. Okay, and same with up here. Okay, and that's good. You got it. Okay, good job. All right. We're going to, um, you know what? I think we want to see the top edge of that a little bit better. Maybe we should go across the top of that, huh? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right. So here, let's go across. So you're going to go right across so it looks like it's two separate objects. So you're going to go from here. I'm just going to give you a little guideline. You're going to go right where I've got it, okay? But a little bit more paint so that we can really see um, no, it's loaded enough, honey. There you go. That's it. Well, maybe it's not loaded enough. Maybe we do need a little bit more. Sorry about that. Okay, a little bit more on the brush. All right, now try it. Go right on the same area again. That's it. Now that shows up better, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's better. Okay. All right, then we're going to rinse our brush in some water. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and start the face. So to do the face, um, I like to start with the um, nose. And so we're going to use a number two uh, uh, brush here in the black silver. And what color are snowman's noses? Orange. Orange. And what are they? Carrots. A carrot. That's right. Okay, so I've got some cadmium orange, but any bright orange would be great. I'll put that, let's see if I can get that to come out. There we go. Okay, now let me just show you on the palette here what you're going to do. So what I do is I pick a spot where my nose is going to be, and I get a lot of get a lot of orange paint in that brush. Okay, I kind of scoop it up this time. All right, what I'm going to do is Okay, so let's pretend, in fact, here's the white. Let's pretend the white is my snowman. I'm going to start inside of the, the snowman, and I'm going to just squish it and pull it out. Just kind of a wiggle, but when I lift up, it'll get skinny, and then I can just go tap, tap, tap with the tip to get the little pointy nose. Okay, so you're going to want to... Take the brush, go ahead, and let me show you something where, let's see, let's even, we can even just draw a little mark. So let's have it go from, from here out to here. How about that? So cover that whole thing. Yep, cover that whole thing. So remember, it's fatter inside the head, and then we get skinny at the tip. So just, you can wiggle it, you can tap it. Okay, and now lift up, just use the tip, because you want it skinny out there. Okay, so scoop up some more and just go tap, tap, tap now to fill it in instead of squishing down. So we want to keep that skinny. So we got to get a lot of paint. All right. So I want you to fill that in now a little bit more paint, right? What The shape is good, but just need more paint in there. So just tap and fill in those little holes. Don't squish hard. Just bare, that's it, bare, don't squish down, barely tap, a little more paint, get a little more paint on your brush, honey. There you go. Okay, don't squish, just barely touch, real slow. Just got to slow it down. What do you think? Is that a good shape? Mm -hmm. You like that? Okay, that's enough. All right, now, what would happen if you made a mistake? Okay, first of all, it's a black background. You could always come back with your black paint, you know, and, and just kind of clean it up if you wanted to. But I think you did good. I think we're going to leave that. Okay, we want to put a little bit of a highlight on the top edge of the nose. So we're going to use uh, just a really bright yellow paint. Squeeze a little bit of that out. Now this time, when you do it, Okay, you got to have a really, really gentle touch, sweetie. You're going to scoop up the yellow, and as slow as you can do it, I want you to just barely touch the top edge of your 
Okay. Uh, no, it's okay. Let's give it a shot. So scoop up some yellow. Okay. And start, yep, start on the top edge only. Yep, and go across the top and let that all connect. You want to connect all those dots, sweetie. Can you connect them? Make them all touch. So what it does is you're making a line, and it's kind of a, uh, a wiggly, so it's not a perfect straight line because we want it to have a little bit of character. That's good. That's it. And see how gentle or how little you can get on the tip of the nose. You got enough left on there? I think you do. And don't squish down. Yep, maybe just a touch more just to get all the way to the to the very top. Okay, now if you want, you can actually drag a little bit of that wet paint carefully in. Can you do just a couple more like that for me? Let's push this up just a hair so we make sure we can see it. That's it. Don't squish. Barely drag. That's it. And I don't think we need to do the tip. I think the tip looks good. So stop. Good job. What do you think? Look like a nose? Yep. Yep, it looks like a nose. All right. So we're going to rinse our brush. Now uh, we want an eyeball. Okay. Now we're going to put the eyeball probably right about here. Now with the eyeball, you can actually take the wooden end. Let's take our, our Deerfoot stippling brush and take the wooden end and we're going to dip it in the black paint and then when we set it down, handle straight up in the air, set it down, we get a perfect little eyeball. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this off so that you can do it start to finish. Let's see if you can do it. And do you see where the eyeball is going to go? Mm -hmm. All right, so you're going to take this and I want you to dip it right in the middle of the paint. And don't blot it off. Okay, right where that eyeball is and you're done. How easy was that? Cool, right? Good. Can't see. Um, then what is he missing? What, do we, what else do we need? What else do we need? The white part of his eye. Well, we can do that, but we'll let that dry a little bit. But what? The stripes on his hat. But look at his face. What's his face missing? The smile. His smile. Yeah, we got to have a smile on him, right? He's got to have a mouth. Okay, so I just did a wiggly mouth. Okay, so you're going to try and do a skinny line. So there again, we can take a pencil and draw it. So what if we just do a wiggly line, okay, and then we're going to do a curve on the end afterwards to make him smile. So just a little bit of black paint, and you want to just do the tip. Don't squish down. Try and get it skinny. That's it. Wiggly line, and maybe a little more paint again. When you run out, get more paint. Okay, get more paint, sweetie. More paint. There you go. And then finish connecting. Don't squish down. You just want to use the tip. When you squish down, you get a fat line. Here, in fact, let me show you that. See, when you're using this type of a brush, if you just barely drag the tip, you get a skinny line. But what happens when you squish? You get a fat line. You get a fat line. <laughs> So what if we wanted to make that fat line right there skinnier? Here's what we can do. It's real easy. We're going to just take the tip of the brush, scoop up some white, and watch this. Just gently dab some white paint back to skinny up that line. What do you think? Does that work? Yep. That works, right? Okay. So now we got a smile line. Oh, now Grandma got a little bit too much here. Let me get, let me just dab so I don't wreck your nice piece. You're doing so good. Okay, but I, I like that wiggly. Okay, now let's do one more just little curve there. So what are we going to do to get a skinny line when we do that little curve? Just do the tip. Yep, just the tip and don't push down. Okay, now you've got a lot of paint on there. So be real careful. There, that looks perfect. Leave it alone. I love it. Perfect, perfect. 
You got it. Now it's time for the heart. Okay, now I got a really cool way to do the heart. Let's see, should we do a red heart for his? Yeah. His, uh, let's see what we got here. We'll get some, we'll get some red paint here. Okay, now I'm going to just put the red on the pit plate here because it's going to be easier for you to dip in. Okay. Okay, so here's how I do a heart. Now I wonder how big we want it. Do you want a big one or a little one? Let's have a big one okay. so they can also see. All right, so big one. So I'm going to show you on the plate here. So remember how we dipped it in mm -hmm. for the eyeball, right? So we're going to dip the wooden end of the big brush in. You're going to set it down and you're going to set down another one and they want to touch. Okay, then we're, you've got wet paint there. We're going to use this other brush with no paint on it. And here's the bottom of the heart, right? Where the right. point would be. So we're going to drag that wet paint down into a little point and we make a heart. How cool is that? Cool. Cool. All right. So let me wipe the brush off so that you can start it. All right. Here you go. So dip into the red and there and there. Okay. Now stop. Okay. Now we take this brush and your little point is going to be right about here. So you're going to drag that wet paint into one little point. Okay. You just take your time. That's it right there. And then just fill in, just drag the wet paint to fill in. Don't squish. No, just there. Good job. Okay. I'm just going to get one more little spot right there. How's that? What do you think? Cute. Good. Cute, cute, cute. All right. So we got a little heart. Uh, do we want to decorate the hat? And we're going to put, let's put some stripes just on this bottom section, not on the yeah. top. How about that? All right. Um, and I think you told me before you wanted to try purple. And red. And, or green. Green's your favorite color, right? Right. Well, we better get your green in there. We gotta get some green stripes. How about that? Here, let's just put a little green here. Okay. So we're going to use, oh, you know what? I'm gonna show you a different brush to do the stripes. Let's try something fun. Okay, this is the Black Silver um, Wave Angle. And do you see how there are little tips? Looks like it's been cut off. Yeah. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take those little tips and you're going to dip them in the green. Okay, but don't, bl don't, don't uh, blot it off. And then you're going to carefully, you're going to set it down to make your stripe. How about that? Yeah. Okay, so here, I'll just do the first one and then you can load it yourself next time. So where do you want your stripes, do you think? Should we put them like... On the should bottom. Should we make these the green stripes and then we can do another color in between? What do you think? Yeah. Okay, so you go right on top of those lines. So when you hold this brush, sweetie, all the tips have to touch Okay, don't squish hard, just barely touch. Oh, and the other thing is, handle straight up in the air. There we go. Okay, and go ahead, just barely touch. That's it. Is that going to show up enough, or do we need a brighter color? You know what? We might need a brighter color, or yeah. maybe a lighter color. What about if we use our, um, let's see, what else do I got here? I have another color here called Citron Green. That's brighter. I bet you this might show up better. Let's give it a shot. A little more of a yellowy green. Let's see if this one shows up. So let me wash the brush for you. Okay, let's see if you remember how to load it. Okay, so just barely touch the tips. That's it. Okay, do the next line. We'll let the other one dry. Straight down. That's it. You got it. Okay, and do the next one. There you go, just straight down, straight up. Okay, now get a little more paint. Stop and get more paint. Yeah, because it runs out. 
That's okay. That's a lot of paint. It's a lot of paint, but you know what? It's okay because all the stripes can be just a little bit different, and that's all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So let's. You want to do the uh, here? In fact, I'll scoop up a little for this front one. Okay. Do you want to do the front one? Just go right yep. on top of the other green, and just barely touch. Don't pull, just down and up. That's it. You got it. All right. Now we got to put another color in between there. What is going to purple. show? Let's see if the purple is going to show. But I think we're going to have to go with a lighter purple than what we originally thought. So let's try purple petal. Because we needed a lighter green. Right. So we might need a lighter purple. Lighter purple. Okay, do you want to load that? Yep. All right. Oh, too much. Let's pat some off. So when that happens, honey, you just lay it on the side and you gently take the extra off. So now you should be good. Right in between. That's it. Good. And it's okay if they look like dots, too, because this is just decoration on your hat. Good job. Yep, what do you think? Good. like it. I like it. All right, let's rinse that off. We're going to be... We're going to be putting um, a snowflake on next. So guess what? We're going to use this same brush, the Wave Angle, to do our snowflake. Now, the snowflake... We're going to put it right about here, okay? And we're going to do a line up and a line down, one off to each side, and then after we'll put one in between. So, But we're going to start right with that, and we're going to use some white paint. Oh, we got white paint, right? right. Okay, so here's your white paint. So you're just going to get those little tips, barely get on the tips, and when you set it down, you barely touch, you set and lift. Okay, so now you're going to do the bottom one. And go ahead and turn this to make it more comfortable for getting the lines. Any way you need to turn it to make it to uh, get in straight up and down so that all the, that's it. And the other one, there you go. Now we want one more in between each of them like that. So you go in between those other spots, okay? Barely touch, just take your time. There you go. Good job. Cool, we got a snowflake. Awesome. All right, let's put a dot in the middle. Should we use the wooden end of this to do the dot? Yeah? Yeah. Let, yeah, because we can have a big dot for that. So let's do that and just down and up, okay? Maybe a little bigger, huh? Should we do so if it's if your brush is too little, here's what you can do. You can gently go in a little circle. Does that make sense? Or we could have gone to a bigger brush. Okay, so now if we wanted to have um, some little dots on the end, uh, we could use a couple different things. We can use uh, what's called a stylus. And normally we use this for tracing our patterns on. But if we dip into the white, see, we can get a pretty one. And we, it doesn't have to even touch the line. It can be just close to the line. But you have to re-dip it every dot, okay? You want to give it a shot? Yep. All right. Okay, every dot, you got to re-dip. Oh, white paint's over here. Oh. <laughs> there we go. That's it. So every dot... All the way around. Good job. That's it. Cool. Uh, that's it. Okay, you got it. All right, and we'll just wipe that off. Okay, now the other thing is, let's see if our eye is dry enough. Now this one has a tiny little uh, end on the other end, so we're just going to barely get, and then go ahead and put the little sparkle in his eye. Okay, perfect. All right. 
What do you think? Do you think we need some white across here just yeah. so that that shows up? Sure. What should we do it with? Do we want to do it with dots? Do we want to do just like a line? Let's do it with dots. You want to do it with dots? Okay, so here you go. All right, so just across the very top. Go ahead. Across the top of that section. It'll make it look separate. You got it? Make it touch the edge. Yep. Yeah. And more white paint. Okay. Go all the way across the top edge there. Got Good job. I think that's good. That looks good. Yeah, that shows up a little more now, right? Okay. All right, the one more thing up on top, and then we let this dry, and we're going to actually add some glitter on there to make it all sparkle and pretty. Okay, so now up on the top here, we're going to make it look like there's kind of icicles. So we're going to use the white uh, paint again. But look, see, I got a lot of paint on there. So let's turn it on the side. Let's tap off that extra paint right like that. How about that? Now what we're going to do is we're going to start here and we're going to go up and down, up and down. Okay, so that we're making it look like icicles. So let me get some more on here. You try going all the way across like that. See if you can do it. So, so, this, so this one's going to be about here. And then this one will be longer. Yep. And just keep going across. You got it. And those are icicles. And a little closer together. So get in between if you get a big spot, big gap. Yep. Anywhere there is good. Okay. That's it. Good job. And we can always fill in more if we want to. So... Yep. Okay. Okay, then see, we can just, some areas we can get a little bit more in between to fill in some of those holes. Okay, now, that makes the bottom edge so that it looks like ice, but on the top, now you can just tap and kind of fill it in. You don't have to be as careful up on the top because it'll just fill in with texture. So you go ahead, fill in the top now with all white, but just gentle taps. Yep, and you can do it kind of fast now because it doesn't have to be lines. It can just be filled in, whole bunch. That's it, that's it. Just fill it in a whole bunch. Oh, good job. Okay, we're going to do just a little bit more so that it really looks like it's nice and fuzzy up there, okay? Just a bit more to fill in more of that black. Okay, you want to do a little bit more for me on the... You want to finish this side for me? Sure. Okay, there you go. That's it. Just get rid of all that black now. Good Wait, job. Huh? Yeah, that looks good. What do you think? Yeah. Are we good? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to let this dry a little bit and then we're going to put our glitter on. Okay, Austin, we are all nice and dry now. So we're ready for some glitter. This time when we put the glitter on, we could have just used our flat brush again, um, actually any brush, but I really like the dagger brush in the black silver to be able to scoop the glitter up so I can get lots of it on there. So, so let me show you how we're going to do this. Okay, first of all, I got two different glitters here on the plate. One is uh, the DecoArt Craft Twinkles, the other is the Galaxy Glitter. Uh, the Galaxy Glitter has bigger flex uh, in it than the Twinkles. So the Twinkles, we want the littler flex to go over the face, but for up in the uh, snow area or icicle area, we want to have bigger flakes. So we're going to use some of both. And I could have just used one or the other. But here's what I want you to do. <clears throat> I want you to scoop up like this. So we're going to pretend this brush is like a shovel. Does that make sense? 
We're going to scoop up a lot. Okay. And then pat it on, okay? Now when this dries, it's going to dry clear, so I'm not brushing it like we would when we normally, you know, base coat. We want to put it on pretty thick. All right, so I want you to do the whole face, just the snowman's face. So give it a shot. You're going to scoop it up. Yep, and go ahead and just pat it all over the face. What do you think? Not if I ever need... I think it's pretty cool. And someday we need to do a different one just with a different Christmas thing. Sure. Do you like painting? I actually kind of do. Awesome. You're a good artist too, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, scoop a little more. I can see here, see when we, when we, you probably have it so you can't see it as good, but if we tip this, we can see the glitter. So a little more around the bottom there, how about? Yep, yeah. and just pat it. No, nope, don't brush it. Pat it. Yeah, there you go. Because we want it nice and thick. Take your time. There. slow. All right. I think you got it all. That looks really cool. All right. Now for the top part, in fact, let's just leave it this direction, huh? Mm -hmm. You don't have to wash the brush because it's, it's still just glitter. But for the top part now, this is a little bit thicker and you have uh, bigger flecks. You're going to do the same thing. Just put it on really thick. Just pat it so that we get lots and lots of sparkle on there. Okay, okay. go for it. Okay, go ahead, get more on the brush. And gentler, not so fast, you gotta slow down. That's, slow it down. And don't press so hard, good job. Okay, yeah, move around that, there you go. Get some more on the brush. I still have globs. That's okay, they're gonna, they're all, it's all gonna dry clear and so you're just gonna have more uh, glitter in those areas, so it's really not a problem. Okay, what, probably one more scoop. Get a little in that bottom, maybe in the bottom corner here, get some more. Okay, and then I'm going to tip it so we can see it better. Let's see if we missed any areas. What do you think? I think we got, I think you did good. I think you got all the areas. Yeah. Oh, shall we put just a tiny bit in the snowflake too? Sure. Yeah, let's do that. Here, scoop a little bit. Go ahead and pat it on the snowflake area. And you don't have to just do the lines. Yep, just all in the middle there. And then when that dries, that's going to dry clear. Okay. I'm thinking one more little scoop, huh? We like lots of glitter, don't we? Glitter! Glitter! Glitter is pretty. Okay, so who's going to get this ornament this Christmas? Who are you going to give it to? Huh? Dad. You're going to give it to your dad? We're going to have to do another one for Mom, too, then, aren't we? And one for Kylie. Okay, one for your sister. All right, there we have it. You did a beautiful job. Now we're going to let this dry. Now, once this is all dry, you can put a shiny uh, varnish over the whole thing. Um, you, you can have, you know, a grown-up spray it, or you can do a brush on, but I like to use a shiny one so that all the glitter is going to stay shiny. Okay, so Austin is all done with his really cool snowman. I think he did an awesome job, sweetheart. What do you think? Good. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I love it. I would definitely hang it on my tree. So thank you everybody for joining us. Be sure to subscribe and give us a like and we'll see you again sometime.